Well, a couple of weeks ago, my pick for something to talk about was a list from Good Housekeeping on fun holiday cocktails. Mm -hmm. I showed you 20 fun and easy drinks that you could make and serve to your family and friends for the holidays, and you guys actually didn't pick on me that week. No, it was a good list, actually. There were some good drinks in there. Yeah. And we're going to make, I think, two of them today. Man, we've been waiting for this day all week, it feels like. And to show us how these drinks are done are Mark and Cesar from Platinum Event Services. Welcome. Thank Merry you. Merry early Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're so Merry happy Christmas. to have you here, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Let's, yes, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Let's jump right in because uh, this is really easy to make at home. Yes. So we, we're making two drinks. The first one is a spiked eggnog. Yeah. Who doesn't like eggnogs? I thought it was always... It's got eggs. It's protein. So... It's very nutritious. So Mark is gonna show us how to make this very easy drink. First, he's pouring double chocolate <laughs> vodka, then eggnog. We're gonna shake them uh, with some ice. Check it, Mark. The Polaroid picture. <laughs> Like that. Oh, yeah. Kind of makes it frothy, makes it kind of pretty. Right. Do we really need to measure this or just kind of by the eye? Um, um, it depends. If it's underage, no vodka. Okay. Right, yes. <laughs> For the no, kids. it's a so. shot. A, <laughs> right. a shot will be, a shot is, is, is okay. Okay. But you're experts, so you don't have to measure it out. We saw what you just did there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to. You'd hold up the whole much. line that you would yeah. have if you were measuring them all <laughs> out. Yeah. A so little. he just swirled with caramel syrup. And now, yes. next step. He's going to strain it, stained glass, stained wine glass. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now eggnog, of course, you can get a whole different variations of eggnog. Yes, even lactose-free. So anybody who has lactose intolerance, mm -hmm. they can find eggnog free. Yeah, and if yeah. you're worried because it's so fattening, you just put less of it in and more of the liqueur, right? And the whip, and, oh, wow. uh, that's the touch. Yeah, and Maybe. you can skip out on Maybe. that too it's if you want. It's the holidays, so yes. who's counting and anyway? Of course, cinnamon, ground cinnamon. It adds mm -hmm. a real great touch. That flavor nice. is yeah. amazing. And, and a of goes course, a long way. and of mm -hmm. course, the cinnamon course. stick. Oh, to top there it. you go. Uh, nice. Cool. You and can serve it. Product. You can serve it cold. You can warm it up if you're going to be outdoors. So it's great. You can occasion. warm up eggnog. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't, I didn't ever, did you know that? Oh. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> warm. Uh, I don't know if I like the idea of that, but yes, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mark, what, what's our second drink here? Because you have two for us. We do. This Apple pie mimosa. I jumped oh. ahead of myself because this one has the... Uh, the caramel drizzle. Exactly, the yes. decoration. Uh, I did not know that you could heat up eggnog. Did you, is that common knowledge? Does everybody know that? Well, the room is mixed. <laughs> usually it's cold, but uh, in some countries where temperatures are really cold, some people they drink just warm it hot. Everything yeah, yeah, it's yes. like hot yes. chocolate. Well, they have hot eggnog. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good. Okay, for this drink, usually when we talk about mimosas, everybody thinks about orange juice and yes. champagne. Yes. This is an apple pie mimosa. So we're using, obviously, apple cider. We're using apple pie whiskey. Okay. It can be of any brand. This time we're, uh, we're using the Old Smoky. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Champagne. Okay, I had my, uh, my first Old Fashioned the other day. Oh, that's a, oh, that's that's a that wicked one. drink. Yeah, that oh, the Old Fashioned, yes. yes. It's a classic. Yes, that's a definitely. classic. Almost put me on my butt. Yeah, that's a <laughs> strong drink. Yes. Shannon, which one would you like to try? Both, but I'll start with this Both. one. Both. <laughs> yes. Both. And this, right. what is the name of this one again? Spiked Eggnog. Spiked, oh. Of course, can't forget the spiked eggnog. Shannon's going to tell us how they taste because, of course, listen, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so I'm not going to drink after you. And you can spike it a little bit more if you add a little, a little bit, bit more. Bit more of <laughs> well, you know, since we're still at work, I think this is a good amount for me. Did you want to try on the other side? No, that's quite okay. You're not trying it? I, I don't want to drink Final. after you during a uh, pandemic. I think that's a <laughs> bad, bad... Here, well, you, that, that's your drink, then. Okay. You try that right. one and tell me how you like and it. And you, you, got, you get great. the moonshine. And, and you added the... The Frangelico, right? Frangelico. Forgot, yeah, yeah, you did it so fast. He added a little bit of... Oh, that's good. Dig that one. Cheers. Gentlemen, Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you again so Can we much. count on you after the new year? Maybe come show us uh, some new year drinks. Super Bowl yeah. parties, New Year's, <laughs> yes. Saint Patty's Day. A segment type thing. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can come back and we can make a, a drink for every occasion. Uh, we like to hear that. Every Friday. We can come every <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Friday's yes. an occasion. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wednesdays work really well for there us. There we actually. go. Yes. yes. Uh, nice to meet you both. Thank Great you so much. Thank you for having us. All guys. right. Now I know that you're interested at home on how you can make these recipes. You can find these recipes and other holiday recipes right now on our website at newson6.com/kitchen. All right.